I went to school at UC Santa Barbara and, and studied uh, organizational communications, which is a real liberal, uh, a liberal studies. You know, it's, it's very broad. I could have ended up in an organization somewhere in the human resources at that point. But I worked in a restaurant. Again, I, I draw a lot of my perspective and my experience from this restaurant I worked at that was real, really well ran, where the numbers mat mattered payroll percentage, food costs, all of those things, you know. And, um, and so when I first got here, of course, I was in charge of, you know, there weren't a lot of daily receipts when I first started, so it wasn't too hard to count like 200 bucks. But uh, when, you know, as business has gotten more complicated, um, integrated my accounting system with QuickBooks, I, I have a really solid accountant, and I have an in-house bookkeeper that comes in two or three days a week, and, and helps me put all that stuff together. None of it have I just put on somebody else's desk. I view everything. I view every check that's paid. I sign every check that's paid, myself or Lisa. I view every bank statement, every visa bill that comes in. So nothing, there are no loopholes for something funky to happen. Um, but I'm not back there, you know, 10 hours a day trying to, trying to get all the numbers to reconcile. Um, but, but I really like the business aspect of it. I'm kind of a number freak. I, wanna, I want the shop to operate at a certain percentage of payroll, a certain percentage of food costs. I want my electricity bill to be a certain percentage so that I can kind of have an idea of you know, where we need to be. And, and I've taken those numbers and I've made a bonus structure for my managers. Hey, if we hit this payroll percentage, if we hit this food cost percentage, then you know, you're going to hit a $500 a month bonus or something to that effect. And it gets them engaged. You know, and I, and I, at first I tried it on a yearly basis, it didn't work because it was too long of a period of time, right? I, I mean, we're all just, human nature is to just kind of wait till the 11th hour and then try to like make it all work. Then I tried it on a semi-annual, didn't work. So now it's a monthly bonus system. It takes time because I got to crunch all the numbers, fill out all the paperwork, tell them where they did well, um, where we just missed the boat. And, and I think it, it hits home when, you know, you've got a one aspect of the bonus might be labor costs, for example. And counter labor, maybe it has to run 6% of total labor, and they come in at 6.1. So they miss their 100 and some odd dollar bonus by a tenth of a percent. Sometimes I give, I give in, but most of the time I don't because it's, it's, uh, it's part of the deal, right? I mean, it's, it's, what, it's what the bonus is all about. Hit your numbers, you get bonus. And so it works out pretty well from a management standpoint. Mm -hmm.